Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about real estate, investing, and just really anything. I've been getting a lot of questions about if it's a good time to invest in real estate at the moment. I figured it'd be a good idea to just to just do a market report and just show you guys where the housing market is going and where I think it's going and if it's a good time to buy. So let's just jump into it. All right, so I'm doing my report on Portland since this is where I'm based. I do real estate all throughout Oregon, but Portland and West Lynn is where I focus my business. And so I did this report here on Portland. I'm sure a lot of you know, Portland's mainly known for coffee, hiking, and riots. It's a very active city. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see if it's a good time to buy. Okay, this report here shows the estimated value of homes at the moment. So basically saying if it's a good time to sell your house. And as we can see, the median price for here in Portland is $552,000 as of the end of September, which is a pretty decent, pretty it's pretty decent growth based on this estimate. It's up 2% over the last month, 0.4% over the last quarter, 0.6 really percent over the last year, and then 23% over the past two years. Now, that's just the estimated value, it's not the actual value of sold homes. So based on just these neighborhood trends and the city in general, it does seem like it's a good time to sell your home. We're definitely in what is known as a seller's market. And next we're gonna move on to the homes that have actually sold in the past year or two. And that will give us a better idea on the actual growth that Portland is seeing at the moment. So for right now, the average sale home for in Portland is $550,000 which again is a really decent price, especially since a lot of homes in Portland are pretty run down as they are. Over the past year, there's been a growth of about 12%. Over the past two years, it's been almost 22%. A lot of that is due to, with COVID happening, the housing market shortage, builders not being able to get enough supplies to build new homes. There's such a demand for people, there's such a demand for homes that there aren't enough sellers. There aren't enough homes on the market for people to buy, which is why homes are going for more. However, in Portland, we have been seeing a bit of a shift where there is starting to be a bit of a recorrection. So we're kind of at the peak, which is mainly due to the amount of new homes coming on the market. Due to lumber prices decreasing, builders are able to build homes cheaper. And with new homes on the market, there are more supply with that same amount of demand, which would mean the price would start to drop. However, I have seen a lot of people start to worry that we're in a bubble and we're just hoping for the housing market to crash so that we can get a better price. That's not gonna happen, unfortunately. It's not 2008. 2008, it was due to lenders lending too much and so many houses having to be foreclosed. This, the home prices are increasing so much now due to not enough homes being built because of lumber and supplies being so expensive. However, those supplies have now gone down and decreased in value which means it's cheaper to build homes. So that means that there won't be a housing market crash like there was in 2008. It's just that houses are pretty valuable. There will be a small recorrection as we're seeing with this past month, but in no way will it be a ginormous crash like 2008. Who knows, I could be wrong. I'm actually looking to buy a property. I'm getting married in March, and so me and my wife are looking for um, a multi-family home. So, I mean, personally, it wouldn't be that bad if the market recorrected a good amount. Um, I would like to get a good deal, but to be completely honest, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. And to even add more evidence to that belief, there are more listings in Portland that came on the market in this past month compared to the rest of this past year. And again, that is because sellers, possibly you, possibly not, are thinking about selling and you're wanting to kind of jump on this train before the market recorrects if you think that's what's going to happen. However, with so many people believing that and with new homes being built, the value of homes are already starting to even out. And so the market isn't going to have a huge plunge or anything like that. However, it is a fantastic time to sell and it is a fantastic time to buy, at least here in Portland and the surrounding areas, mainly because for sellers, homes are going for a good price and for buyers, the interest rates are so low that it is a fantastic time to buy and it is a fantastic time to sell. So I would suggest going out there, looking at homes, contacting an agent. If you're here in Portland, I'd love to talk to you. I love working in Portland. I know I've grown up here. I'm pretty familiar with Portland real estate. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And also just thank you for watching. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun doing these reports, so thanks.